So the deal is, I've wanted to do a podcast forever. One, because I love having conversations with people that actually go into depth and matter. Too much of this bullshit is superficial and nobody gives a shit anymore. It's all standard greetings and tokens of a fucked up society. So I decided to call the podcast Slander because it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a critique of everything that we fucking do at all. So... No topics really off limits. I really don't have an agenda. I'm just here to speak, have some fun, maybe meet some cool people, try to work on my career, which sounds so fucking terrible when I'm like my career, but you know, I don't I just don't wanna be working at fucking staples and when I'm like forty five going, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? For a Honda Civic or some shit? Like, what's the goal here? Really? I'm gonna die with a mortgage and all this bullshit and enslave children? Okay, how about I just don't have kids and do whatever the fuck I want and fuck this bullshit system. But this uh, this first one's more like a pilot than anything. It's just, uh, you'll see, it was an impromptu kind of thing. It just happened, but I've been talking about doing it forever, so I'm running with this one. Something a little more tight together will be out soon. I'm having a blast with my buddy uh, Brad here, Birdman. It's a uh, big ups to him for letting me use this studio equipment. Uh, we uh, battled pretty hard to get all this hooked up, and uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. So enjoy the video if you do. Like, share, do whatever. Uh, I'm around town in Elmira if you're local. Follow me on Twitter or Twatter, I should say. Okay. Twatter. Fucking, twat the shit and, and, out of And then that. you can twat me, you know what I mean? Let's Everyone's just call it like a it twat. Is. It's at Cody Banana, by the way. And if I cough on this podcast at all, I'm sorry, I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Yeah, I know, right? Peace. Easy. is like fucking provoke a reaction like we talked about it, that dude's gotta look around and feel like how many of you are dead in the you know what I mean yeah see so many fucking robots roll through every year well he makes wives ask their husbands questions like is this class gonna fuck you up honey yeah. <laughs> I mean that's the kind of teacher he is and he's awesome at it and I don't say that in a demeaning way at all he's just fucking he knows how to really get people thinking about yeah, things in a larger going, sense. Man. He's fun. He's not like an asshole about it. No. And he does have a comic sensibility too. He really could. If he had it in his heart to do stand up, you he's know that man can get up on the stage. Seriously and, though, and either you as a student, man. like I don't get mad at him or anything, he doesn't get mad at me, you know what I mean? But but I mean, I'm saying, I mean, could you imagine him getting up and you know, doing like a stand-up skit like Dr. V? It'd be like, <laughs> I can see. Him would he bring his stick up on stage with him? I can you see know? him doing storytelling. He's a storyteller. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And he loves that wooden rod that he taps, and he's still in this class too. He holds on to that fucker like it's the key to, you know, his thought process, so to speak. Taps it on his leg. It's his inner drummer. Hi, Charlie. Hi, champ. <coughs> oh, <laughs> just caught in the dog's face. What's up? Got Mufasa, we got Charlie, we got Jumper. Oh, shit. I can't believe it's fucking Saturday, like, evening. It so feels like a fucking, like, I don't know. Just average muddy Monday night. 
I'm not downplaying. It should be something I'm excited about. Like, whoopee, it's fucking Saturday night. <laughs> I mean, at least you figured that out finally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, if you are listening, we just fucking got the studio up and running. It took several fucking days. I'm not kidding. Literally, like, painstaking hours of troubleshooting to the point of almost ridiculousness. In fact, I'm gonna just briefly shut my door here because the dogs are wanting to be on this podcast as well, apparently. Whatever are you recording right now? Yeah. You can't even tell me that. Well, I told you. I, I did tell you. You just didn't even hear me because I felt so guilty about doing it. Uh, I finally looked over and I'm like, we're rolling, by the way. Oh, and I you didn't just even, didn't even react. And I figured, oh, Mr. Cool Cody, you know, know, just played it care. off like he doesn't care, which I'm sure you don't. But oh, yeah. I mean, like, that's fine. I figured, why not? You know, fuck it. Fair it enough. It is what it is. So anyway. We've already covered Dr. V uh, is a fucking amazing professor at Corning Community College, which is fucking the truth. And you can see that in the upcoming column in the Town Cracker. And we've also discussed the fact that I have obviously three dogs <laughs> here at this location who like to sneak in the office and fuck about. You guys gotta watch it when they come in. And if I had to guess, we're listening to uh, the Crystal Method, but I don't Ew. know this song exactly. Am it I right? Is. Crystal Method, Blunts, and Robots. Blunts and Robots. All right, fair enough. Fucking cool title. <laughs> now, a robot smoking a blunt, is that something you'd have to pre-program or with the AI just be like, oh yeah, this smells good. I'm gonna roll it up and <laughs> smoke the shit out of it. <laughs> Give me a painting idea. I would. The robot smoking a bone. Yeah, well, I would. Where are you when you're talking about this? Fucking. Bones and robots. It's. I mean, getting high on the music. Fucking. I mean, definitely making more turn lights. I love the fucking bass line on this song. Yeah, like, the kind of, like, headphones with, like, subwoofer capability or whatever. Like, this one will make your, like, fucking eyes rattle. It's, like, it's such a strong, like, wah. It's, I used to walk around all the time and listen to, like when you're rolling, your whole fucking, like your hair and everything to your toes will tingle. Fuck Just, yeah, dude. You're like, oh. That's, <coughs> that's the shit, man. I mean, there's a lot to be said for that kind of stuff. Like, if there's something that can invoke that physical feeling, obviously it's a part of our reality and fucking A, man. I think the age-old question is that we actually discussed earlier today was fucking. There is only the present moment. Whatever you're you gotta have the yin and the yang. Is like you what's gotta important. Have oh, if there's only the present moment. This is just all anything you're feeling or experiencing is what's important. So like if something changes your state of consciousness and you feel and you have heightened senses and you feel amazing and music is better and fucking you light a joint and it tastes like the greatest thing you've ever done. You, open like a fruit juice and it's the most delicious juice you've ever had if you're not experiencing that at least once or twice in your life you're fucking dead inside and you're a coward (laughs) you wanna get real people (laughs) fuck this new dead generation and they're like lame dick everybody has a fucking problem it's bullshit oh let's go to rehab what's the cure? god Stan Hope calls it fuck all that shit. It's called the... There are definitely people with problems. Don't get me wrong. But, like... Like, what happened to the days when you could go out on a Saturday night and it wasn't like you were a... You weren't some fucking criminal scumbag about it. You know what I mean? Like, there's always, like... It's, like, looked down on now. Just by everybody. Like, I just watch other people go through it, too. It's I'm not only talking to control myself. people when you've got them all scared and fucked up in the head afraid of everything. It's way easier to take a dog. It's way... It's way... If we had a lot yeah. of... I'm not... Look, when I say this, I'm not advocating dog abuse or animal, um, excuse me, animal abuse of any kind. All I'm saying is, let's say you own five or six dogs, and, well, shit, I own fucking four dogs. 
So, but I don't say own, I say they're a part of our family. I don't own them. They're a piece of this family. Anyway, if you take said group and treat them like that with fear instilled in them, you're going to have complete dominance over them and the point where you can get them to basically kill for you, sleep when you want, eat when you want, shit when you want, do what you want, because you're that kind of dog that I call that person an owner, not a dog lover, you know what I mean? And I think our government's guilty of the same fucking shit, to be honest with you. I think we're dogs and we get fear tactics to the point where we're dominant and uh, forgiving because there's stuff like Twizzlers and Snickers bars fuck, and fuck chocolate shit, milk. Though. Fuck that <laughs> shit though. Well, that's all true. If people can't like Let's not figure, forget the new series of Walking no, Dead. If people can't fucking figure that shit out, that's on them. Cause like I'm just a fat fucking kid from Elmira, small town nobody, and like I can like be like, oh. Yeah, I'm I mean, speaking like, from the point anything, of view that any I'm kind of afraid behavior, that I live in that world. Any kind of behavior that's ballsy or kind of charismatic or like anything like that now nowadays is like it's anti that. And it comes out in forms of like anti masculinity because like if you're masculine, you must just be a dumb jock. Sorry for hitting the table. But yeah, it's all good, listen, man. people, new to this. Uh, hey, fair enough. No, uh, but you fucking uh, all of it, it just manifests in different ways. And then people don't give a shit because they want to get behind it because public things is just like sheeple. You jump on bandwagons, you do what you want to do, and then you fucking go to sleep, and then you wonder why you die scared as shit, screaming when you're like 70, and you realize that your life was a lie. And, uh, so whatever. Because I want to say way more people are conscious of it while people are fucking retarded. Uh, I still think, in, even in that retardation, there's a part of them that knows. Well, the Ed, the Ed dare say that you can see it. It's in your own conscious mind to either engage yourself with said people who think on the negative, or engage yourself with the people who think upon the positive. And they're everywhere. And not only are they everywhere, every individual is always experiencing some sort of positive or negative. I just don't pretend that the other one doesn't exist. So like, it's almost like so zero like and choose, ones like everywhere. If I right? choose to be positive, though, like, try to have a positive outlook, positive thinking, it's like try to do progressive, man. expansive, like I'm going to make shit better for myself because I want to do this and pursue it because it excites me, it's interesting, yada, yada, yada. I don't even know where I was going with this now, but... <laughs> But if I'm choosing to do that, I also realize that the negative is still there, and then I'll feel it, and then I'll, like, like make views based on it, and I'll base information in it. It's, it's not like one discredits the other. It's right. like we always talk about duality, so they're both there simultaneously. Subjective fairness. It's, it happens simultaneously. Good right. and bad happens simultaneously. But yeah. it's not good and bad. Good and bad is terrible words. Yes. It just is. Shit just yes. is. Shit, shit just happens. And and this is just a universe of like expression. It's like an explosion that's still happening through the condensing of matter and the people make like, you know what I mean? Like now we're like the universe looking at itself kind of thing. Yeah. So, so. So like, yeah, go to work tomorrow, load up some shit you hate, let somebody come in and take out their day on you while their kids kick and scream. Welcome For to those America. Listening, <laughs> good quote, Cody. For those who might actually be listening to this, who fucking knows, mm-hmm. I'm going to hit control S on this bitch because I don't trust that it won't crash on us. So if you're a pop or a click, that's what it is. And we are saved. So, so far we are... Now in the process of documenting what will be Cody Vanetta's what first? I don't know. Fucking. Don't he doesn't know. have a title yet. We don't, we don't know what the Submit fuck a this title, is. Submit a title. We don't even know what this is. We don't even like. We don't know. Something. We gotta listen to it. Still, it might sound like shit. It might, but hey, fucking. And we might sound like pretentious fuckers. Well, I'm sure we do. That we can't change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have the software for that. There's a way to soften the blow. Uh, the way to soften the blow of information you're about to just be like you know you can either smack people down with it and beat them like you're the police so you can fucking kind of like serve them dinner then fuck them you know what I mean that's why you need a URL like <laughs> codyshorseshit.com or something you know 
yeah. something really self-loathing to the point where it's like my dumbass thoughts. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm I kid with you, man. I, I don't know. I gotta be. I think you could be. go. I think you go with a million fucking great titles for your shit, dude. I'm not gonna overthink a title. I'll just. Well, you don't overthink anything. Well, I mean, not in a bad way. That sounded insulting. Well, like, oh, you're a fucking retard. You don't think about anything. <laughs> no, no. You are. You you've got the you've got the be here now thing pretty much down bad. It's cool, and it's something I aspire to be, and it's something I work on every day. Be here now, and folks. For those listening, I'm sorry. But that is my two philosophy. For those who give a fuck. I just pick ones. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why I started doing it. It's probably a feature on here. I'm stupid, and there'd probably be like nerds screaming at me. Oh, you that? I don't have software to change either. That's just you'll always have people on there. Gay, fake, fake gay. These guys are stupid. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, here, let's help them. Hey, for all those, if we do post this and you want to comment, let me give you a few ideas. Um, chode smoker, fucking cock blowing ass blowers. These guys think they're smart. Ha ha ha, lol. My name is Audio Genius Retard. Dot beef Stew. <laughs> If we post this to YouTube and there's copyrighted music in the background, we're not making dog shit off of this. Yes, absolutely I'm not. In the one most bloody poverty, scent. poverty driven lifestyle you can think of. I'm debating butting this cigarette and because I'm that is broke. an understatement. And we're talking over each other like assholes. <laughs> so, truth be told, folks, just a couple of jackasses here. Truth be told. But if I have anything to do with this, we'll put some effects on some funny parts and make them sound all trippy for you uh, freaks out there and uh, make some cool graphics and make shit look bubbly and fun. And He's implying we're, we're uh, but motivated a, enough to edit it and it's yeah, not going to happen. But I'm a post-production guy. I, You know what? It'll happen and then I'll show it to him and he'll be like, oh shit, you made that look that badass? And I'll go, yeah, I can do that. And then he'll go, sweet, post it to YouTube. I don't want to sell you the lie. It's all a lie, Cody. And you fucking know it. <laughs> if you want it to be. Exactly, and I don't want it to be. If you don't lie, you don't have to remember anything. <laughs> this will you be wake fun up, to listen to. You back wake up to. with a list of problems, but they're not like, uh, they're not like, oh shit, because of like what I've said problems. They're just more like, oh, I gotta get a car or oh I gotta like achieve this today cause I gotta get down there and turn this form in for school or whatever you have insurance or some bullshit like you have maintenance problems you don't yeah. have like fuck yourself over shoot yourself in the foot you're retarded self sabotaging problems oh uh, and if you hear a bunch of squeaking and noises it's just my wheelchair you know I like to roll around my space a little bit here um which we're gonna do the best we can to keep undisclosed because that's just better for everybody to not know our location. Uh, anywho, I am just turning around on my computer here so I can, uh, uh, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, I'm gonna get on Facebook, which should not fuck with this audio whatsoever. Oop, it helped if I turned off my chair. Because we're fucking professional. Yeah, hey man. We're looking at Facebook. We read the book. It's fucking Saturday and I'm hiring <laughs> yeah, right. our lives. Hey, for real though, dude. Did I open one fucking book or read me file or no, no man, no, no, no. I just want it for the record. <laughs> didn't read one manual, didn't fuck with anything, got the studio back up and running. Purely out of uh, subjective trial, and, trial error. and error. Thank you very much. Best way to learn shit. One of the most painful, but it works. Kind of how I've learned everything. I'll fuck it up first. I gotta piss and uh, get a coffee or something. I don't know if there's any coffee left. Oh, if yeah, you're I was about this. to do this for this is almost more important here at the moment. There. 
Uh, anywho, well, I'm going to continue to check my Facebook page, and perhaps I'll read something funny that happened on here. Perhaps I won't. Comfortable silence. Yeah, or, you know, just I'm play. Hold on, hold on. I if I had to fart, I would, but I don't. I would dare not try to shit my pants at this point. People like farts. Yeah, man, farts are great. If you don't like farts, you're a fucking liar. If you don't fart, if you claim you don't fart, you're a fucking liar. It's just like masturbation. Fucking liar. Liar, liar, crotch on don't fire. Like fart. You fart so bad, you can't fall back to sleep. Yeah. It smells that bad. And if you haven't been in a relationship for over 10 years like I have, in Dutch oven or been Dutch oven, you're a fucking liar. Because that shit happens, it's for real. People do that to each other. I don't know why. We just do. If you're a Clutch fan, leave a comment. Clutch fans are a fucking cult. They should be a cult. We are a cult. Here's the Clutch. Hey, by the way, uh, great fucking news. If you look on my Facebook page, Bradford James Baker, uh, you'll find um, some links to uh, my buddies in Dog Fashion Disco. Just reached. In fact, let me find the fucking link real quick. Um, they just reached a very, very uh, amazing amount of money towards their new endeavors, which includes an album and a tour and things like that. So I'm scrolling down my Facebook page here, and there it is, Indiegogo. Yeah, you can go to, uh, let me click this. You can go to uh, Indy. Go go i n d i e g o g o dot com and help my boys in dog fashion disco our boys in dog fashion disco I should say um, Todd Jason Wendy the rest of you cats um, fucking so proud of you guys so far in uh, a matter of uh, what was essentially two days. They've been able to raise 35,666, oddly enough, 666, uh, 35,666 dollars, US dollars, uh, towards their new albums, possibly uh, uh, albums, I say plural, because they might have more than one, they might do like a double, because the they are just, uh, they're, they're very humbled by it, and I, I, completely suggest you check that website out Indiegogo um, projects and uh, look for Dog Fashion Disco um, or just go to my Facebook page Bradford James Baker and uh, or Cody Veneta and uh, find a link because um, uh, we're adamant DFD fans and we think you should be too thank you very fucking much I'm also gonna read this uh, thing that Cody posted earlier here because it was pretty fucking rad. He's <laughs> just talking out loud, like. Yeah. Hey, you know, I really am finding, uh, you know, with as much discomfort as I bitched about, I'm finding that because I talked to myself so much already, <laughs> having the mic on isn't really. I'm like, whatever. 
I fucking talk to myself all it's like I'm always commentary in my own life so this just makes perfect sense I, I, now if I can figure out how to get to your fucking website here there you are my website well whatever Facebook page for now but yeah I'm professional I got a website uh, hey man professional is a relative word And for those uh, listening, we just kind of ended our last topic on the idea that it, in Dr. Vince Lasilla's philosophy class, he's discussing rel- relativism versus uh, objectivism, and you know we're pretty much going to move past that here soon. But I'm kind of hung up on relativism because it really, some of the ideas behind it go along with how I feel in my heart about the way the fucking world should work, which is live and let live, essentially. But uh, that doesn't always float everyone's boat, as we know, because the world's a fucking crazy place. But anyway, um, that being said, I want to find this fucking uh, cool thing about depression here. Because it, uh... Here it is, okay. Don't like gay marriages? Don't get one. Don't like cigarettes? Don't smoke one. Don't like abortions? Don't have one. Don't like sex? Don't do it. Don't like drugs? Don't do that. Don't like porn? Don't watch it. Don't like alcohol? Don't drink it. Don't like guns? Don't buy one. Don't like your rights taken away? Then don't let's don't don't take away someone else's. Yeah. And they say we need the ten fucking commandments. Come on, give me a break, man. Don't, oh, don't be a douche. Just don't fucking just do what you like and don't do what you don't like don't and don't fucking man. do the shit don't that you don't like to other fucking, fucking people. Douche, man. Don't be a fucking douche. Don't. Maybe I shouldn't be making fun of people's fucking accents. I don't know. Maybe I don't but fucking, fucking yeah. maybe I don't give a shit. If somebody wants to beat me up over a fucking accent, you're a fucking yeah. caveman. Maybe I consider the humor you're going to get out of this shit worth the know. fucking trouble. Terrible Fuck impressions. It's what I yeah, do. man. It's what I fucking do. Fuck it. Terrible, terrible impressions. Terrible. Wait, I get going to my Russell Brand fucking boat. It'd be like, oh my fucking God. Shut this fucking bloke up. So, admit it. You aren't like them. You're not even close. You may occasionally dress yourself up as one of them, watch the same mindless television shows as they do, maybe even eat the same fast food sometimes. But it seems the more you try to fit in, the more you feel like an outsider, watching the normal people as they go about their automatic existences, for every time you say club passwords like have a nice day and weather's awful today, eh? You yearn inside to say forbidden things like tell me something that makes you cry or what do you think deja vu is for? That is for the people that like to ask bigger questions, my friends. Um, For those of you out there that like to think about things a little bit larger scale, I suppose. Not to say it's not nice to say hey to your guy walking down the sidewalk, but I'm sure uh, many of us are uh, just fucking choking on the fact that we can't ask some big questions and get some better answers. In fact, didn't you post a, did you, did you share in that fucking uh, interview there on Fox, fucking, what's his name? Oh, the Jesse Ventura. Jesse Ventura. I'm not sharing that. Everybody knows Jesse Ventura is a conspiracy guy. He had a show conspiracy theories. Well, that's not uh, the important point. I, I think he made some great points about just showing Fox again, like, Look, you claim, you know, your history books are like Bibles. Well, then if that's the case, look in your own fucking Bibles and realize your government has lied to you and it's been fucking proven. You know what I mean? So I I guess that's all I'm saying is, man, calling people on the bluff, dude, I fucking... The government will one day no-knock the fuck out of my ass. And what does no-knock mean, you say? That means when they kick your fucking door in at 2 a.m. and you're high as shit minding your business and put a black bag over your head and you disappear. It happens all the time. And it's legal. Just for the record to the government, in case you're listening to this, I have no issues with you. I am not pursuing shit. Why? Because at least I can do drugs and do shit while I'm here, you fucking assholes. (laughs) And I'll keep a job and pay your fucking taxes. So back the fuck off. (laughs) That's not like a douchebag there. That's good. (laughs) Hey, man. You know, truth hurts. Fuck it. 
All right, well, it's 7.50 p.m. on a Saturday evening. I'm going to pause this motherfucker and think about sequestering myself something to eat. We hope you've enjoyed what might be Cody's first fucking podcast. What is this? Like, how long has it been going for? Um, we're at... Uh, 28 minutes, about a half an hour. Alright. Fucking A. Pause it.